college comes with all kinds of new experiences, including a whole new vocabulary. Here are some common words you might not otherwise know. A course is a college class or educational opportunity that counts towards an academic degree. Courses are usually grouped in two main categories, lower and upper division. Lower division courses are generally geared toward freshman and sophomore students and cover a topic in broad detail. Sometimes they're called survey courses. The number of a course tells you what level it is, so lower division classes have a number in the 100 or 200 range, like Biology 101 or History 201. Upper division courses are geared towards juniors and seniors and have numbers in the 300 or 400 range, like Spanish 301 or Physics 450. Many colleges have general education or core class requirements, which means they want students to take courses in a variety of subjects in order to be well-rounded. There are also many different kinds of courses. It may be a lecture style format with one professor talking to many students, or a lab with hands-on activities and experiments. Smaller classes include seminars, which are often discussion-based, and recitations, which give you a chance to practice or relearn skills learned in a lecture. Art classes are often called studio courses, and you can also get credit for internships or other experience-based programs. Credits are a number that is assigned that signifies the value or weight of a course. The number of credits earned usually range from one to four per course, depending upon the amount of time spent in class and the amount of work required. Most colleges have a set amount of credits a student should take each term, which usually equal about four courses. Students sign up for courses before the beginning of the next term during a specific registration period. Courses have set class sizes. If you successfully get a spot, you are enrolled in the class. Otherwise, you might get put on a wait list if a spot opens up. There's also a chance to add or drop courses during the term if you need to change your schedule. In order to take some courses, there's a prerequisite or another course that you have to take before enrolling. There might be a sequence of classes you should take for a particular major, like taking Chemistry 101 in the fall and Chemistry 102 in the spring. Almost every course provides a syllabus, which is an outline of the schedule, assignments, and expectations for the class. Students refer to this throughout the term. It's really important. At the end of every term, most colleges have a dedicated time to study for final exams called Reading Week, or sometimes Dead Week, because there are no classes held. During finals week, students turn in final papers and take their last exams, and then go catch up on their sleep. <laughs>